Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's time for another Evolve Guide. This time we're going to be covering the new Trapper Jack. Again, the structure of the video will go the video tutorials found in-game, then we'll cover his equipment, and then on to perks, and then the actual strategies and tactics of how to play Jack. Jack is a trapper. He hunts down and traps the monster. Use the survey satellite to search for the monster. Its beams identify the most recent tracks or corpses and highlight the monster directly. The repulsor pushes against the monster to control its movement. Bend the beam to alter the direction of force. When the monster attacks, fight back with your dual pistols. Remember to use the mobile arena. The survey satellite is most valuable when you have no leads on the monster's location. Its beams penetrate walls, so don't hesitate to use it indoors. It also does a little damage. Each beam scorches whatever it touches. The repulsor applies a pushing force along the beam's path. The beam can be bent to push in different directions. Use this to protect teammates from a distance. It can even force a crack into the ground, or keep it in the air. First up on his equipment is his dual pistols. They do 29 damage a shot, a reload of 2 seconds, the clip size of 12 shots, that's 6 per pistol, and he actually has 4 pistols, he just switches 2 out each time he reloads. Next up is the survey satellite. The range is about 100 meters, it has a reload of 40 seconds, and the damage is about 400 when it hits the monster. We're not entirely sure on that, that's about as close an approximation as we could get though. Lastly, we have his repulsion field. It has a range of 60 meters with a duration of 5 seconds. That's only with the monster just walking forward. It's a little bit less if they use an ability or, and it takes about 2 stamina uses out of it. And it recharges from full use, it's a 10 second recharge, and there will always be a 2 second delay no matter how much is used. So if you only drain it down to about half, there'll still be a 2 second delay before it starts to recharge again. Also, the beam is green when it's stopping the monster. When it's red, that's pretty much just useless, and it will continue to drain even if it's red when you're not stopping the monster. Now, normally at this point we'd go to perks, but we're going to show off a little bit of the repulsion field to show what it looks like to stopping some monster's abilities. Now for perks, the first and best perk we recommend is reload speed. It allows your form of tracking to be used a lot more often, and with Jack that's very helpful whenever you lose the monster. And domes become a 45 second recharge instead of 60, which can be huge in keeping the monster from getting away and doing a lot more damage. And your only form of slowing the monster drains very, very quickly, so having that recharge and getting it to use it more often really can help in a fight. The next perk we recommend is Jump Height. It is the easiest evasing perk, so that'll help you stay alive longer. And we picked this over movement speed because Jack's speed doesn't slow down when he's using his abilities, so movement speed is less effective on Jack compared to other hunters. And the last perk is Damage Resistance. Again, we recommend you use the other two over this one. This is just to help you stay alive longer. There's really no other benefit to it. Now for some strategies and tactics. Dealing with the dual pistols, 
you pretty much want to use that those when everything else is on cooldown, and you aren't slowed down while you're using them, so you don't be worried about using them and t taking longer to get to a place. You can keep using them as you're traveling, so that makes it a little bit more effective. Now for the survey satellite, if you're in, fighting in a dome, you want to be using it on cooldown. It'll make sure your team will always know where the monster is, plus if you hit the monster you can do some serious damage with it. Now when tracking with it, you want to make sure that you're not on the edge of the map. As Trapper, you generally want to stay towards the center of the map just to make it easier to get to the monster and try to dome. But you want to stay towards more closer away from the edge so that way whenever you place the satellite, it won't go off the map and you'll actually cover most of the map. You should use the pinging and actually looking at the map to uh, determine how close you are to it. And also you want to use it at the end of like whenever you lose the tracks because that's what the satellite finds are just more tracks and if you're already following tracks then they'll just take you to where you're already following anyway so it'd be pointless. And then after the dome, you want to wait to use it until you're losing sight of the monster, not when you can still see the monster, so that way you're given a heading to go once the dome comes down to know where he's headed, as opposed to just running and then finding like, alright, that's where he was. Now for the repulsion field. It's important to note that its capacity will drop whether you're repulsing the monster or not, so don't just be holding it on the monster, you want to make sure you're actually getting good use out of it. To do that, you want to anticipate when ability uses are, so it'll help to have an idea of when abilities are off of cooldown to anticipate when the monster will use what. And also, if you see one about to be used, that's also a good time to use it to keep the monster from getting close to you, like with a uh, Kraken using Aftershock or a Wraith trying to abduct or Warp Blast. Now also, Jack plays different from other trappers. Most of you want to be kind of behind the monster to slow. With Jack, you need to be in the somewhat towards the front. You don't have to be directly in front, because you can bend the beam to get it to go where you want. And also, it's important to keep an eye on your team's health and who the monster, monster is currently aggroing, because that'll allow help that person get away from the monster, so that way they won't go down, make your medic's job a little bit easier, and also make the monster a little bit more frustrated. Alright, that covers our guide for Jack. If you have any comments or any additional tips, you can let us know in the comments below. Also be on the lookout for other guides we'll be posting. We're going to try about doing these about once a week or so. And for more updates on those, you can follow us on Twitter. I'll have a link in the description below to help give you more up-to-dates on when we're doing those. Thanks for watching.